back on the Sports Bank Zone and time to talk track and field. Mm. Five time Olympic champion Elaine Thompson Hira has, dec has disclosed that she contemplated quitting the sport after battling a series of injuries in recent months. The 30 year old made the disclosure after winning the women's 100 meters in 11.24 seconds at the J3's All Commons Meet at Jamaica College's Ashenheim Stadium on Saturday night. Thompson Hira, who hadn't competed since the 14th of April this year, says her preparation this season has been challenging. The past couple of months have been rough. Most days I wasn't able to do anything. So I'm just grateful I was here in spikes, actually. I've been bouncing spikes and track shoes. So to come out here and get a, a clean race, you know, God is good, you know. People see us on the track all the time, you know, what's come behind that, you know. And, you know, every year for me, at our championship, um, I don't know why world championship season always seem very challenging for me. I've not changed anything. I'm not doing anything wrong, but it's like a test to see if I can do it or not. And this one has tested me a lot. It tested me last year as well. And I cried most morning. I drove in my car, going on my cried because I see that I'm working hard and I'm not getting the result I want. And I was on the verge to give up, honestly. But God speaks to me and says, Can I give up right now? Because I take it this far. And I didn't see trials coming, honestly. I'm just going there, not expecting the result. Just gonna go top three, not looking at fast time or anything. Just wanna make it to the World Championship and then take it from there. But as I said, I'm just here, not knowing why I'm here, but I'm here just to shake out to go to the trials. Mm, Elaine Thompson here, five time Olympic gold medalist, Lance Whitaker. What did you make of that? Ah. Struggling, you can see that mentally she's not in a very good place. The trials are up in a couple of weeks from now, and uh, given where she is, um, it's it's a, a huge uphill struggle for her. Um, and uh, I understand the point that she made about fans looking on and not understanding what athletes go through. And uh, an athlete at her elite level, there are going to be expectations. There is there is going to be. She is a, a double double Olympic champion. So people are almost demanding the same quality of performances that took her to the heights that she reached. But obviously, with her injuries and her preparations way off schedule, it's a difficult time for her. She admitted to crying several mornings when she's driving to, to train and so on. And uh, this is a, a huge story that causes a lot of concern for the Olympic champ. Yeah, a lot of concern. There's an aspect of it as well where she said that at this stage, she is just trying to make it to the top three at the national championships. And what that says to me is that this is an athlete who is not confident in where she is at at this stage in relation to where she needs to be to make the team for the world championships in Budapest, Hungary. And so what we're looking at is a situation where the five-time Olympic gold medalist, last year's um, world championship 100 bronze medalist, could or may not make the team for this year's um, global event. And that would have been unthinkable mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, maybe even last year, because despite the fact that she had some issues last year and she wasn't at her imperious best, she still performed well at this stage of the season. She was already consistently under 11 seconds. She had already um, put down a 10 performance. So she was still at elite level performances. She is not at elite level performances this year. And not just because of this one performance of 11, of 11.24 yeah. at the weekend. But if you think about it, Lance, from the indoor season when she ran like 7.30 um, in, at, the, at the Karsten Varham meet in, in Europe for 60 meters or when she was well below her best when she ran um, 400 meters for background or that 23-2 yes. performance in the United States in April when she was well beaten, um, it tells you that she hasn't been anywhere close to where she needs to be at any point 
of this 2023 season and you can understand why she would be and i'm using her word now nervous going into the jamaican championships yeah and her her perilous state at the moment ricardo is magnified by the fact that 2022 was a below par year for her yes she won bronze at the worlds and won the commonwealth games um which is not a global meet but to think that she is even significantly below now where she was last year at this time is a treacherous thought for elaine thompson hero fans and um, i'm not sure how much improvement we can see from her between now and and the nationals when she needs to be in the top three as she is aiming for but um, my heart goes out to her. This is a, a true champion athlete, and she's going through, through some difficult times. Yes, yeah, she certainly is. I'm sure we'll be chatting a lot more about Elaine Thompson here. We take a break, we'll be back. Interactive to close the show. Stay with Sportsmax on YouTube and follow us on all social pages for updates, news, and entertainment. <laughs> 